Okay, so this uh, next rapid game is one that is we don't look at ratings per se. In you know we're not doing the rating ladder climb. We're looking at the quality of the um, games that we're playing. So the quality of the games that we're playing and this next game, if we game, if we got advantageous in it, would take us to the two thousand mark. We're not on the journey to get to 2,000. If you've seen the previous video, we're not interested in any of that. But seems like a pivotal moment to mention it. And I'm putting pressure on myself now because obviously we're probably going to get wiped out. Um, I'm going in Zen mode. So we're not going to see the opponent's rating. You're not going to see my rating um, until the end of the game. So fingers crossed, all being well. Um, maybe all of the stuff we've been recently working on, maybe we can put it into this game here. Let's just block the pawn, try and keep it as normal as possible. And if something different happens, then let's see if we can react to that. So we bring the knight out here, supporting the pawn. And we just bring the bishop out because the pawn is protected by the queen and the knight. And then we push the pawn here, supporting, but ma really making space for the bishop to come out. They've actually attacked. All right. Don't usually attack. They usually develop the pieces out first. So this might be a little bit of a... <clears throat> Maybe looking to put some checks on the king. Are they going to get a bit fancy, arty? Or are they going to simplify? I think I'm happy simplifying, as you know, but with them taking so early, I'm like, oh, there's a tactical thing going on here. Look at the long pause going now. This is the type of thing I'm talking about, you know, within the opening, mid game and end game type stuff. This opponent, obviously, I think they're thinking about the end game already. We've only just started the game. So that gets me nervous. So I'm, I'm, I'm now thinking, can we do anything to counter-attack already? And we're only in the opening stage. Kings had Kings hadn't even got castled yet. So they do capture the gun for simplification. I do believe the queen is coming here. I think they're coming with the queen coming here with a check on the king. We can push the pawn. We will lose tempo somehow anyway. Maybe the bishop's coming out first to do that. It's probably looking to support something here. The knight's coming out. That's interesting. I'm going to put a check on the king just to give space for our castling. Try and win a momentary tempo. Just going to take, simplify. You know we like to simplify if we can. Queen's taking, obviously. So we can't go running there with a check on the king. All right, let's castle. I think... We're nearly done with the opening bit. Just need to get this knight out and then we're ready to start our version of middle game. Tail of the tape, the opponent's still in opening. Yeah, they're making space now. Going to simplify and just capture. Downside to doing Zen mode is I don't know the opponent's rating, do I? So I don't know if accepting a draw is going to be okay or not. <laughs> All right, so he does have diagonal here. He's got the knight ready to jump here for an attack towards the end. This king needs to go and castle. We need to get our knight off the back, which is going to be quicker. Knight coming here to come here, or knight going there to go here, which, which looks better. Uh, let's bring the knight here. I think they're going to go castle to finish their um, opening phase off. Or they might just go for the knight here, but if they do, the queen can take. Let's just put that in the mental roller decks. The queen can take. They've not even gone, for, they've not finished in the opening. And they're. Oh, well, you know, I'm celebrating inside. But. See, I like that. But the knight's there. Because the queen's got no protection on. Now I might be getting a bit arty. Hit the pawn. 
developer rug. I'm not sure what this pawn move was. I think they just like being a little bit fancy. There must be a high level, high level, high level. Because they've not gone on castles. So they're weighing up their options. Hit the pawn, give them something to think about. If the pawn takes, knight takes. No, we don't. If the pawn takes, we take the queen. I don't think they're going to do that. So we'll hit the pawn. Expected a knee-jerk reaction then, but that's not happened. Got a fork here if nothing happens here. He might have a fancy knight manoeuvre. Or he might just castle. But then we can get the fork. So I'm hoping and praying that because they haven't got out of their bed yet properly and they've done this pawn move, which I'm not really sure what that was. Maybe it's support. it was stopping the knight from coming here. Oh, I didn't see that. Didn't see that, did I? Okay. Um, didn't see that. Can just drop the queen down. And then it pushes on to the knight though, doesn't it? Oh, details, details, dude. I thought I had this one. That looked quite nice, didn't it? Oh. Losing out positionally. That's not good. Can't even attack the queen. Can put a check on the king. Then it just drops the pawn. If he drop the pawn, the knight can take the pawn. If he takes back, we get the rook for free. Is that a little bit too arty? I'm gonna put the check on the king. That looks like one of those um, puzzles, but it's not, you don't have to do that. But it looks like the most obvious, but now they're thinking about it, I don't think they're gonna get away with it. So he's gonna go for a queen exchange maybe. Right, I need to chill my beans now. <clears throat> I'm getting overexcited because this could be the one that takes us to the 2000 mark. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I won't play anymore um, after that, once I've hit that target because they get a little bit squinchy. The other sides when you're that level. <laughs> but we're not there yet. Like I was kind of saying earlier um, I'm hoping maybe a tempo has been won just from them starting some sort of maneuvers like some sort of mid game type stuff when they hadn't completed the opening but some players do play like that you know they like to keep the king out in the open and so everybody's opening phase is different some are, some are weaker than others if you're leaving your king area it does get attacked it doesn't mean you've won the game, it just means we can jostle a little bit better because we're having to give the opponent something to think about. Or rather, we're giving the opponent... Yes, yeah, so they've gone for an exchange. So he's going to bring the pawn in, so he's going to have more pawns in the centre. <sighs> yeah. So if we take this... Then his queen takes, knight takes. Knight takes. Can't go here because his knight's there, so the rook can attack his knight. His rook comes to defend. Our knight jumps here. No, that's not going to work. I think we just keep it simple, don't we? Just, I don't really want him having all these pawns in the center. I suppose we've got this rook here attacking this pawn. Let's take the queen. Let's take this. Just get this rook ready. 
we don't need to blitz out the moves but these look like the obvious type of moves i think this pawn's going to get hit by the rook All right, so let's go with this. Knight goes in defense, but then we can take this pawn. So I think they'll probably come and hit here, but we can take with a check on the king, and then we can move the knight if that happens. I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible, all because the king hasn't gone and castled. So the rooks aren't linked up at the moment. Oh, see, I didn't even see that. Let's hit the pawn. We we'll still have the x-ray through to the king. Don't need to move this fast now. Oh dear. These sort of games are the ones that can just change just like that. And advantages are gone. All sorts of things. I'm still thinking I've got a slight advantage only because of the fact of he's not linked his rooks up. His king is still a little bit airy and we look like we're taking advantage of their position. I think this is coming. We can still do this. Or does he just bring his rook and support something? We take, takes, gets his rook here attacking these pawns. Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. Hmm. Don't like these positions really. They can go either way. He's castled. Going to take. I'm trying to keep up that one temp. Yeah, we take and then his rook comes in. That's fine. We've got our rook supporting. Don't know if that's going to happen though. This rook comes out. Or does the knight not entertain any of that? This is where it could get funky and it could all start going downhill now. His knight moves away from it somehow. And it's all fancy dancing. We've got poor majority on this side and they've got poor majority on that side. We are plus one. I am shocked they've taken, but this could still be a draw. So happy to work to a draw. I'm not precious. <laughs> I know I don't know the opposing's rating, but I'm still happy to wait to a draw, so we should we just push this pawn and then he challenges this pawn and so on and so on. Or do we just bring the rook behind and push, push, push? So if we go here, he's gonna push here. I suppose we can go there. I'm going to push here going to want to get these generated because he's got a poor majority on this side. Oh, didn't I? It's coming down here. Should I listen? If I go here, then he can't come down anymore, can he? But he'll move a pawn. go here looking for the cheap back rank might give us time to get our king off the back because he's looking to come here with his rook so i think anyway he might not be thinking of anything like that okay so we can't go there just yet because his rook can take so i can bring my rook up protecting the pawn and then move my king up when his rook comes down for a bit of a taste. The 
don't want to do anything that's extravagant. We, sh we should be able to support these pawns growing up. But these games can end in draws. We've got two rooks. If he works them together quite nicely, we're going to get challenged. Kings come across instead. With small dry moves now. I'm gonna bring my king into the game. Looks like he's got things sewn up. Just bringing this here, maybe to attack this pawn or to attack this pawn. We may as well just push this pawn to kind of stop that. And then this pawn's going to come down and challenge. Okay, we did say they were going to be utilizing the poor majority on their side. Could swing the rook up here, but he's, he is defending his pawn, so there's not a right lot of point to that, is there? Unless, of course, we were thinking going here, going here, going here. But then his rook's got to check on us, so we have to be mindful of that as well. So he's going to be winning a little bit of a tempo. Do we move the king already then? Try and act it as a bit of a blocker. Mm. So what realistically is he doing here? One, two, three, four. always worry about king moves. I like to have an aggressive king, but I don't like to get it trapped, especially with just measly pawns and a rook. So if we come here, this rook swings across. I don't think they're gonna swing across the other. It's blocking our pawn, maybe it's a pawn move. Maybe it's just blocking the pawn. Maybe it's hitting this pawn. If he, if he takes, rook takes. If he takes, rook takes. 
Does this rook come here? Attacking our rook. No, I don't, I don't see that, do I? It's got too many pawns then, anti it really? It's got like two pawns against one. So if we'd go for the blocker, it's probably totally wrong, isn't it? Mm, come on, come on. Which is the better one? That's attacking. Doesn't have to take. We can push. It's more elevated. If he does take, rook takes. I think I'm going to go with this one. They're going to be hitting our rook anytime soon. I think we'll be hitting their rook, attacking the pawn. Shady business, shady business. So if he does hit, if we go there, he doesn't have to take, obviously. Or I might just put the check on our king. Do we want to act it as a pawn here? Doesn't look like it's doing much there. It looks like it's blocking if we came here. But then I'm just going to get hit by the rooks, aren't I? I tried to get across to the other side. Mm. Don't really want it blocking. Don't want to go back either. Oh, they're starting to make inroads. Do we hit the rook? He's coming across to get this pawn, but this rook is defending at the minute. Ooh, there's, a, there's a tactical thing. We go here, then he goes here with a check on our king. Move the king out of the way. Does he take? We take. I'm happier if they do exchange, but uh, I hate tactics. So that's the only thing, just be wary of that, just coming here. Let's just hit the rook. Doesn't have to take, he can always go back again. We could have hit his king, but I don't want to invite his king further down. Might help support his pawns attacking our pawns. Small detail. Mm hmm I'm very nervous now I'm very nervous I don't want to make a blunder or, or a mistake but I don't want to fall foul of tactical garbage so I'm trying to keep it simple attacking it's, I don't think it's going to take if it's taking this long so I think it's just going to go back again I was looking at entertaining this attacking the rook obviously he's going to hit our king But that just gets the pawn in the center. But at least it's a it's a nice passer. They have to think about blocking it off. But they do have pawn majority on this side. Have to be careful. Do, do, do. He's gone for it. Tactical rubbish of some sort. I'm not missing anything though, I'm sure am I? So if I move the king here, let me just move the king here. He's protecting the pawn so he's not going to come down here because we'll take he hasn't got a pawn to hit us with so we're just going to move the king that's the exact move we said he'd think he was going to do I thought it was a tactical thing it don't look too tactical and I don't really want to invite the king down because it's just getting closer in isn't it but I'm blocking my own pawn and I didn't really want that. So we could attack his rook. Mm. That's as basic as I can get it, attacking the rook. 
I don't think they're taking. We'll just come here. And maybe we can try that. Yeah, there's nothing I, I can see. Right, I need to just attack the rook. King supporting. Time is running out, but it, what is it? A 15 minute, 10 second game, or is it a 15 minute, 5 second game? I better look to see. So I know on the other side it's 15 minute 10, but this one might be 15 minute 5. We'll see when they make their move. Either way, it's got increment, yeah. So it said I was going to do this and attack the rook. If they're dancing, and he can just dance here. Then it's got sides of our hitting our king. We do have a check, like we said, but he could come in and attack the rook. That's even worse for us. So I don't think we'll do that. Or we could just sit there and attack this pawn. But he's got to check on our king. So we could slide back. Okay, so it looks like he's not a taker, so he's going to move to here. If we move to here, he does have a check on the king. Move the king out of the way. We're still hitting this pawn. So he can't defend the pawn, so he could push the pawn down. So that it's supported there and blocked the rook out of the way. So it might not be a good position after all, might it? Yeah, maybe we won't do that one then. Might need some thought. Yeah, because he's just going to defend by doing that. Then our rook has lost the power. This pawn's got no protection on, but our rook wouldn't be able to get to it. Oh, no, they've taken. Oh, I'm I'm shocked. Um, Okay, let's go here. Let's get support in the pawn, maybe. <gasps> no, no, no. What's happening? What's happening? If we attack the rook he comes down for the pawn so then it's going to be like a draw going up and down if we move the king so that it can act as some sort of pawn against this pawn and maybe help support this one up that might be better might it might it what's his rook on i'm gonna to have to go with this one needs to be an active king doesn't it let's go here so I'm not squeezing there is it pawn will take him it's not coming up because the pawn will take this king's probably coming in to condense our king yeah so his king comes there if we move the king across pushes down onto our move the king up no maybe not up there because his rook will be behind Something like that then, I think towards here, towards here. Oh, he's blocking off the king already. Oh, gutted. If we move the king, he drops the pawn. Move the king. His rook goes up somewhere. So we're moving the king to attack the pawn, but the pawn is going to drop down. Oh, I don't want to fall for anything. His rook can't come across though, can it? Let's go here. We want to kind of protect this pawn. Let's attack the rook. Yeah, they're moving dead quick now, so they're going to clock up the time again. Although it don't seem to be jumping up too fast, does it? Or too far. Is it only five seconds then? 
I forgot to look because they did the shock intake. Oh man. Can't go up. Oh no, I think I've fallen for some. Damn it, he's got my pawn. It's got my. I'm gonna have to move the king. Oh. Oh, that's not right, is it? He's got my pawn. I could go here with my rook, defend him, but then he can always do that as well. So I'm gonna have to move the king and try and get this pawn up. But he's all. Oh, he's got this. Oh, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Well, he's only got that if he doesn't go. No, he's not going for the pawn. He's not going for the pawn. Did we block the king from coming down? He's got this pawn majority. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Think, think, think. Let's block the king from getting in to join the party. So he might have, might have to sacrifice his rook if he's going to allow it to go up. So do I go this way so that at least this rook can go? Or does he get it somehow? I'm going to go this way. And then across. And then up. Is my king getting trapped? No, maybe his king can get a bit of a check hit on it. Trying to give space for the pawn pushing up. I don't think there's any rook. Oh, they've resigned. <laughs> right, we need to have a look and see what the scores on the doors are then. So I need to take Zen mode off and see. They were 1921, so that's a good scoring. Well done.